Guys, we're back with another Mazda Monday. It's late. Um, you know, I was supposed to start doing these things earlier. Um, but today, you know, pretty much, you know, I had a pretty bad last Thursday. Not bad, but I realized a few things. Um, so, you know, I've been going through, I think I have about 40-ish turbo guys right now. I have to count them up. Uh, but, <clears throat> you know, there's, you know, everybody wants to know about the big turbo car, what's going on with it. Um, you know, one thing I discovered um, in my time tuning is that, you know, everybody talks about, oh, they the they gave the the Mazda 3 a CX, uh, CX-5, CX-9 engine. It's an SUV engine. Um, it's not necessarily an SUV engine, but the tuning software on the original 2021 Mazda 3, it's tuned like an SUV. So pretty much today, what I want to go do go over is just um, the uh, just you know kind of show you guys the ECU because a lot of you don't <clears throat> get a chance to see what's going on in the ECU or what we look at. But what I'm going to do is I want to kind of um, show you the differences in some of the ECUs that are all the 2.5 Ts, right? So you know um, the big turbo car is actually a 2021. Mazda 3. The 2021 20, 20, Mazda 3s got screwed. 2021 Mazda 3s, they are tuned just like the CX-5, CX-9. So they do behave more like an SUV engine versus the 2022 and up do not behave like a SUV engine because the way they tuned it is not for the load of an SUV. You know, so the 2021 is tuned as if it was an SUV and the car releases power based on the amount of load. If there's more load, the car protects itself, right? It lowers um, timing and all these other things. So what I want to do is I was supposed to be showing you guys um, the dyno runs that I did on a car that I tuned last week. But I'm not going to do that this week. I just kind of want to just show you guys what's going on with the turbo tuning. So I, I did make the video for the the turbo car. And I, you know, I was disappointed in the results. But the results are because, you know, like I, I didn't completely tune the car. But I tuned it just how I tuned the other car that's making about 260 wheel, all wheel horsepower. And the car only made like 217 horsepower with the same parameters changed. But the difference is, is how the, the other parameters are that I didn't touch, they're tuned like an SUV. So I just kind of want to just show you guys just on my computer, um, like the differences between, you know, a CX-9, CX-5, um, a 2021 Mazda 3 and a 2022 up Mazda 3 turbo, obviously. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that around so you right, guys so can here see. here we go, guys, from left to right. We have a CX-9 ECU, CX-5 ECU, 2021 Mazda 3 ECU, and a 2022 Mazda 3 ECU. So now, you know, they have your beta stuff in here. We don't want, we're not going to go mess with any of that. But just on the first row for your controls, right, you got your boost controls. You'll see in here, you know, you got your, your different things. I haven't touched these, whatever. But... If you notice, you know, CX-5, CX-9, they're pretty, they got the same kind of adjustments, right? Then you swap over and then you can see the CX-5 compared to the Mazda 3. All these turbo, dynamic, A, B, C, D, they're not here. And then if you look at boost versus torque, there's only one table. You go to the Mazda 3, there's three. One wastegate, there's two wastegate adjustments on here. And they're, they're going to be the same on the 21 and 22. They're going to have all the same tables, but the, the parameters and what, how it's tuned in here are going to be different between those two. All right. So that's just the first, we're going to like the first row of stuff. All right. We'll skip down and go to like one that's more, um, I guess it matters more. So let's go to our, let's close these up. Right, I'm gonna close these up real quick. Just kind of show you guys what's up in here for tuning. 
So drive-by wire is one of the most important things, and this is where you can control torque and all this other things. Like, you know, everybody's complaining about, oh, the torque limits, this and that. Here's where you go in and fix all that stuff, right? So we got drive-by wire. As you can see, there's already a big difference here, right? So the CX-9 came out in 2016. So the guy who created this software has had more time to unlock different maps and tables. So when this first came out, there was maybe, you know, a couple tables here in each of these folders. Over time, they, you know, as they're discovering new tables, they add it in here and it takes time for them to figure it out and to code all that stuff. So um, here we go. We got, you know, CX-9, CX-5. They're going to look pretty similar. Like they got the same kind of tables, right? You know, ABC, blah, blah, blah. After you, you know, they got the accelerator and this, you know, they're the same, right? And then you go over here, right? They got the accelerator request. And then there's all these calculating torque A through M that's not here on the CX-9 and CX-5, right? Then you go down a little bit more, you know, you look at that, that's, that's there, that's there. You know, maximum A and B. And then now you start getting down here and it's like, this is the whole drive-by wire, Right? Now you go over to your Fort Gen. You know, you're on a drive-by wire. I'm not even at the bottom of the screen yet. So I can keep going down and there's more stuff for drive-by wire, right? And all this stuff are like torque limits. They got a couple torque limits here. There's like, you know, if you read it, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six torque limit tables, right? You go over here, got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, eight. Got two more torque tables over there, all right? So even though this has been out longer, there are more controls over here for this, which means there are just more limitations on the Fort Gen, you know, Mazda 3. All right, so let's close that up. So now you see that, you know, even though these are older, there's more, there's more stuff in the logic. All right, close these up. Let's see what we got here. Uh, come on, I'm trying to do this one-handed. All right, now we're closing that up a little bit. Let's go on down and let's just go down to VVT because that's a very important thing for this car, especially because, you know, we got the Atkins cycle. So even before I even open it up, you'll see on this VVT, you know, it ends, that's the last thing down here for the 6.9 and 6.5. But then, hey, Mazda 3, we have this unknown boost table right so that's the problem with this software not a problem but um this software is constantly in development it's not finished so i just want to show you guys actually even before we start opening up more of these tables to compare the differences like i'll just go up to the beta which is stuff that's in testing but we don't know what it is yet right so we go in here and then like so let's click this fuel stuff right here let's click fuel has stuff for fuel pulse with, but then it has a question mark. So you go in there. I'm going to open this table up. Let me show you what some of these tables look like. And then at the top, it says DI pressure, like direct injection pressure, question mark. Then it has vacuum over here. So this table, I actually know what this table is, but... When in development, there's things that he doesn't even know what they are yet. So some of us are not going to risk touching these tables because that is an unknown. If there's a question mark, that means it's unsure what these tables do. All right. So we'll leave that alone. We'll go back to that stuff later. So let's go and back. Let's go back to what we were doing earlier. Close this up. Hopefully it's not too hard for you guys to see. We're gonna to go to VVT, which deals with your valve timing. All right, let's open it up. CX-9, CX-5, right? You got this intake VVT versus map. Go over here. Hey, we don't have that. So neither one of the Fort Gen Mazda 3s have VVT versus map sensor, right? So look at the tables for the, you know, CX-9, CX-5 versus the Mazda 3. 
So we have less tables on there, right? No big deal. Now, one thing that is very important is, you know, ignition timing. Now let's look at something. You're gonna notice something very different about um, the comparison between these tables, right? So, cause I actually wanna show you guys, you know, how, what I was saying about the, the 2021 being tuned like a CX-5 and a CX-9. So let's just open up one of these base tables. All right, so let's look at all these values in here. Whole bunch of numbers you guys won't understand, but let's just for reference say, we go down to the bottom right. You see 11.3 for timing, right? And this is, you know, base table A. Switch over, let's go to the CX-5. Same thing, we go down to the bottom. 11.3. All right, now we are moving over to our 2021 Mazda 3. Open it up. Same thing, 11.3. So this is, you know, how they tune the cars. And these tables are all exactly the same from the CX-9 all the way through the CX-5 and this 2021 Mazda 3. But now let's go to a 2022 that is not tuned like an SUV. So we open up that base table A. And you'll see, hey, guess what? Look what's there. 13 degrees of timing. Right? The other tables, you saw 11. This ECU on this 2022 is different from this ECU on this 2021. Let's open up one more of the tables just so you can see. Right? So this is tuned like an SUV, just like, you know, the, the CX-9, CX-5. Okay, look at these numbers. Look how low they are. One, two, blah, blah, blah. All right, let's go ahead and look at the 2022. Look at these high numbers right here. This is what allows this car to have all this power. All right, so that's enough of that. I don't wanna give up too much of the tuning secrets, but just know that if you have a 2021, you got screwed. 2022 and up, they are not tuned like an SUV motor. All right, guys, I've opened up another section. So like I said, you know, a lot of these uh, tables, they're pretty similar, but we always are missing something on the Mazda 3s because, <clears throat> you know, it's newer. CX-5 Turbo, and, you know, they've been out a little bit longer. Um, CX-9 Turbo's been out longer. We didn't get the CX, you know, or we didn't get the Mazda 3 Turbo until 2021. So they've had more time to get the codes um, to make these tables, you know. And so, like, if you look in here, we're in these sensors, they have like injection, injector latency, which is very important. Um, we don't have that on here. So I have a feeling if these guys want to do bigger injectors, they could do it and we can't. So <clears throat> that's it for like, you know, just want to show you guys a little bit, not too much, but uh, yeah, it's a little bit different on tuning, you know, the CX-5 versus the Mazda 3s because they have tables that we don't have and we have tables that they don't have. Um, from what it looks like, the CX-5, CX-9, and the Mazda 6 have the advantage because they're the first gen 2.5 Ts. And, you know, they just have the tables that are actually necessary to make more power. We can still make the power, but we need JB4 at a certain point because we don't have the map tables we need. Um, and so, like I said, everything is still in development, what Mazda edit. And, you know, I, if I go through here, let me see if I can find something, you know, but it, like on the newer ones, he's going through the guy who's making his software. And there are things that is, are just unknown because no one's been able to test it or we're scared. So you go in here, like, you got an unknown speed limit. What do you mean it's unknown, you know? So I look at a lot of the stuff when I'm going through, you know, that's cool. Unknown speed limiter, you know, we go in here to our timing tables, and then you go at the bottom, and they got a question mark on it. Um, and if it has a question mark, mm, I'm not going to touch it, all right? 
So, and there's a lot of tables, you know, right here. You know, you got this, ignition comp versus ECT. There's a question mark. I'm not gonna touch that. So there's just a lot of stuff. If you could start going through here, there's a lot of unknowns. Um, and I'm not gonna touch them because I'm not sure what they do. So you go in here, you got that unknown question mark. When they got question marks, somebody's gonna have to try it. It's just not gonna be me. I don't make that kind of money to go out there and risk my car or someone else's car. So everything I do, it's because, you know, I understand it. I'm not gonna touch something I don't understand. So, but someone's gonna have to take that risk eventually. And like, even like it says here, it says, you know, torque limit calculated question mark A, B. So obviously we don't know what that is exactly. Somebody's gonna find out. But yeah, guys, I just kind of wanted to go and show you why everybody's, you know, they're complaining about tuning, but there's a lot of stuff we just don't know. I mean, even our boost tables, like, there's a question mark. And the only way you're going to find out what these do is if you play with them and if somebody's willing to do it, which we have been doing. So, and then, like I said, there's all that beta testing stuff. Um, you go in there, there's injection phase question mark. You know, we click on one of those pulls up this table. You don't know what it does. You can try. I mean, I, I do know what they do because I tried them out already, but for the average person trying to tune, this is going to be risky. All right, guys, so that's it right, with that. Guys, so I just kind of want to show you those differences in the uh, the ROMs. You know, there is there, obviously there's more stuff in the ECUs, but for our ROMs, what we have available, the parameters that we're able to change, that's all we have in the Mazda Edit software. Um, and that's the only software we have right now, really, for the turbo. So until someone else comes out with anything better, this is what we have. If you want to make more power, you're going to want Mazda Edit and JB4. Sorry to tell you guys, but the JB4 is great. Um, but you can get a good amount of power with Mazda Edit that most of you guys will be happy with. But as it stands right now, until I get my hands on one of the turbos um, personally, I don't know how far we'll be able to take the platform. I know the, the cars are gonna make over 300 with the turbo. Um, Lance is making some good power. He's also an E30, guys. So some of you guys are only gonna wanna run 91 octane. And, you know, so we'll see what we get can get out of these uh, turbos. But right now, we're progressing every day, so. Just wanted to go and show you guys, you know, what we, what we're working with. Hopefully, I didn't give away too many secrets. I didn't really give away anything, but you know, if any of these other competitors or tuners are out there watching me, they got some tables in there that you probably missed. Anyways, so guys, pretty much next couple weeks, I'm gonna just be effing around and finding out. That's what I do. The more you ground, the more you find out. And that's the only way we're gonna get through this. So, peace out.